G'day and welcome back to The Ground Gives Way. So last episode, we stepped on a trap and fell down several levels um, and found ourselves trying to work out a pathway back. Uh, I'll just find the map here um, right to that. So we're currently on level 10, sitting around here. We were on level 9, and this here is a hole. And it was actually a trap that I could see, but I didn't realize at the time. And I fell down through, all the way down to level 11, I believe. And um, found some couple of trolls, which I think I left hiding up here. And uh, I think we had a skeleton and something that got spawned in as well. Um, let's go back to level 9. I wouldn't mind getting back to level 9 if I can, if it's even a helpful thing to do. I, to be honest, I just don't know. So these red spots are the levels down. So I went down to there. I'm currently here. So the level up, the level back up, I don't know where it could be. I can't see it on level 10. And that's the level back up there on level 9. So mm, well, let's see what we can do. I think I'm going to pick up this bright potion. Um, it doesn't leave a lot of room in our inventory, but we'll see what we can do. I am down to only 7 health, so I need to start thinking about either eating some of these apples or eating this piece of meat. Um, so, mm, we'll see, we'll see. Let's just keep slowly tapping along. Acid Lizard, let's see what he does. And again. So he's going to shoot me and he's going to hit me for three damage. And it's going to be acid damage. I know that I've got Where are we? A green dragon mail. Which I can put on to make myself very... Oh, it's not acid though. It's only poison. Okay, that's not really going to help. The problem I'm running up against is that I'm running low on ammo. It's not going to be much longer until I have none left. So I need to start thinking about how I'm going to attack guys. An acid lizard that can shoot me from a distance is not ideal. Um, I'm going to see if I can run away from him and possibly knock him into there. Or the other alternative is just drown him, which I think is what we'll do. He's almost dead and he's fleeing, so I might just let him do that. I may be in a situation to lock him in a room later. So let's just wait and see where he goes, because I may move ever so slightly. Ah, there we are. Lucky that he missed. But I do move ever so slightly faster than him. So let's just let him move away. Whoa! Okay, a wizard summons a dog. This is our wizard. There's our dog. Hmm, an aggressive little dog. Let's see what he can do. There's an instant damage of one, but he can be blocked. And let's have a look at our wizard. A wizard with dangerous powers. He's vulnerable to electricity. He has a ranged attack, and he does an instant damage of one. He can't be blocked, though, which is going to be a little bit of a problem um, if I run out of if I run out of ammo. So I'm probably going to have to pull back for this dog. The dog I can block. The wizard needs to be hit with a wonder drowning, I think. He's severely wounded. And I got bitten. I'm going to hit him again, or try to hit him again with the arrow. And he's still alive. But he's fleeing now, so I don't need to worry about him. My next step is worrying about the health. Um, let's see here. What can I do? I can eat. Now, I don't know if I heal if I still get attacked by the dog. So let's 
see what happens there. I don't get attacked by the dog. And the wizard hasn't fleed yet. So let's move back one. Okay, we've lost the we've lost the wizard for now. I don't think I have any rocks or anything. I've got one blunt arrow left, which I will want to use on that wizard. So let's attack the dog. I've got a 70% chance, so I sh Whoa, okay. Hmm, this could be the end. Let's eat this last apple. I'm healed. Let's hit this. Oh, come on. Just see one hit. He's doing a good job on me. Um, so you can see down here, I've got a 70% hit chance to hit, but I'm just not being lucky, and the dog is getting very lucky. Um, we need to try... Okay, we've got him once. He's confused. He's moderately wounded. Hmm. Let's see here. What can we do? What can we do? Magic staff. The staff is giving me a lot of block. Can't take off the wizard robe because it'll bring my uh, mana under um, under zero. Does the toy sword give me more block? No, it does not. Well, we're just going to have to hit the dog and hope for the best. He's fleeing. This is good. We might just hit him again anyway. Oh, I, or I could pull back. Mm. I think I need to hit him. Okay, bloodlust kicks in. I got one HP for that, which is good, but I'm almost dead. If I rest now, it means that the wizard that's hiding in here will go back to full health. I don't really want that to happen although if I go in here there could be there could be guys that come in for me this is actually kind of tough having a detect traps and detect chests is really good but it's not going to do me a hell of a lot of good if I'm dead so let's I think we've given our wizard a bit of time to run away Hopefully he's somewhere hiding right down the bottom here. So let's see what we can do. We'll just go see. We'll eat our piece of meat. And we're just going to have to rest, I think. Here we go. And rest. See to continue. All right. So let's make our way. If that wizard comes back for me, there's not really an awful lot I can do. Ooh. A scimitar. This is our acid lizard. What sort of damage does he do again? A lot. Ah, that's our lizard from before. So we can drown him and know that he'll run away from us. So let's do that. Wand of drowning. And he's already running away. And we found ourselves a scimitar. Ooh, and a leather cap. Let's see what we've got. Scimitar. It reduces our magic considerably. We do lose a block. But we increase our damage and we lose our, we lose that sort of negative to our fire resistance. I can't see myself using that, to be honest. But let's see what this leather cap has on. And a warrior, okay. We need to sort him out pretty quick. We're going to have to use magic again. Or we could try out one of our new wands. It's always an option. 
Let's try and drown this guy. And he's moderately wounded. Let's drown him again. Severely wounded. Drown him again. Now he's fleeing. Okay. And we've only got one charge left for our... We'll just let him run away. And now a black slime. Okay. What does a black slime do? <laughs> this pitch black slime is much quicker than other slimes. He always hits... And he's going to do an instant acid of five. We might have to use our last arrow on him. Wow, okay. I have no more projectiles and I don't know if I killed him or not. He's unhurt. I'm quite a bit faster than the black slime though. Where is our, where has our lizard gone though? <gasps> okay, there's our acid lizard. Don't really want him to do anything to us. Okay, he's still running away. That's good. We probably lost our slime. But, let's a valve. I don't want to turn that. Valves do lots of interesting things. They either drain or fill up water sort of areas. So chances are... Ah, there's our wizard. Ah, and he's not going to be hurt anymore. I'm going to see if I can run away from him. Okay, he spawned in a dog. But... Oh, I'm fast, but I'm not quite fast enough. That dog's probably going to get a couple of hits in. Wow, he spawned a snake as well. What does a snake do? Instant acid of five. Far out. Acid though. Can we put that in? No, because we don't have enough mana anymore. Does he have a range? He's only melee. Oh, and he's really fast. He's even catching up with the dog. And he's just hitting me now. I think I probably should have gone down those set of stairs when I had the chance. He's down. My bloodlust kicks in. That's fine. Let's wait for the snake. I've got a, we've both got a 50% chance to hit each other. Oh, there's fire. <laughs> Six damage in total. So he hit me for one HP, and then he also did five damage with the acid. So now he's running away. We might just let him do that. That wizard is probably... Oh, we don't... Okay, let's just get out of here. A mage. What can a mage do for us? Restore mana. He can do a lot of things. He can boost my health boost block I imagine these are temporary effects um, after I rest I would lose that ability but dang that would have been good but we can see now where we actually fell down um, so let's see what we can do right now I need to find some food in a magic portal So now I don't need to make my way back here. I can actually magic portal my way around. Hmm, I have to see how that works. Did I pick up another? I picked up a leather cap, didn't I? It ups my armor a little bit. Well, considering I have no weapons that do ranged attack, there's not much point leaving that headband in. Um, let's tell you back. But right now I'm on the hunt for food. Level 9 is, well, it's going to be a little bit easier than level 10, but with 4 HP, uh, I don't see... I don't see this being particularly long run. Oh, okay. What do we got here? I'm scorched with fire damage. We've got a flaming bat. 
And we've got a moderately wounded warrior. So I wonder if they were fighting each other. He's undamaged. I'm down to one health. <laughs> oh god. Well, pfft. oh well. Let's drown this flaming bat and see what happens. I imagine it'll have some um, minus resistance to, to water. So let's... X to examine. Vulnerable to cold. So no, not water as such. The range of two doesn't... In I can't block it and it does an instant damage of three. So, if I don't make him flee or die right now, this is over. Okay, he's dead. And a crocodile. Oh, goody. <laughs> he's a resistor cold. He can be blocked, but he does instant damage of three. He's moderately wounded. He uh, can be blocked, but does an instant damage of two. You know what? Let's try out one of our rods. I've never actually used one of these before, so I'll be interested to see I'll be interested to see what they do. So Ice Storm. We know that this uh, guy is vulnerable to cold. So let's try it out. Oh! Oh, lots of things happened then. Okay. The crocodile is covered in frost. He does one damage and one resist. The warrior is covered in frost. He d that does two z damage and zero resist. The ro warrior triggers a trap on the floor. And I can see a piece of meat there. It may not be over. He's severely wounded. That's not enough. Okay, what does our other rod do? Rod of acid rain. I know that I'm slightly faster than the hunter. Ooh, I don't know. Do I use my Rod of Acid Rain on one guy? Or do I just attack him and hope that a warrior misses? Uh, the guarantee is a Rod of Acid Rain. If I live, I'll be able to pick up the meat and rest and get that ability back. So... Rod of Acid Rain. Our warrior is fleeing. Ah, uh, the crocodile pushes past the warrior and he's sitting right on top of the food I need. How damaged is the crocodile? Slightly wounded. Let's attack it. Don't really see what else we can do. What items do we have? What makes us in a better situation? We've got a magical staff, which gives us. Ah, uh, it increases our magic, so we can't take that off. We've got a broken amulet, that's not going to do anything. Toy sword. Can't, no, we can't move that out. We can't take that out. We can't take out our wizard's robe because it gives us magic so we can't do anything with those these wands I can't use I could drink a bright potion just to see what happens um, I could teleberry if I use teleberry it could potentially get me away but it's not going to solve my problem of having 1 HP so I'm going to attack the crocodile and see what happens. Ah, I die. Oh, well. Well, it wasn't a bad run. We got to... Let's see here. We got to... Uh, maps. We got to level 11 when we fell down. I believe it goes to level 15. Um, so maybe I should have just kept going down. And then just sort of ran back. It's impossible to say. Impossible to say at this stage. But um, thanks very much for watching. That was attempt four. And uh, well, wish me luck in the next.
See you later.